you have to make these decisions and decide what you're willing to miss, what you're not willing to miss, and. to go into the garage and uh, pour some jigs I'm hoping I can sell them on Instagram you know it takes a sacrifice to do everything I'm trying to do to fish as much as I am to travel around and fish these tournaments um, it takes a sacrifice not only while you're gone and the time off and the time away from home but it also takes a sacrifice when I am home because I'm trying to you know make tackle or make weights or jigs or whatever to sell the tackle shops or to sell to you guys so that I can continue on and continue to do these tournaments so that hopefully one of these days I can fish professionally. You know, fishing these events, I don't think people realize the amount of sacrifice it actually takes to do these. You know, it's at least four days off of work, uh, maybe five if you're lucky enough to make the day three cut and fish on Sunday, which is a good thing because then you're coming home with some money and you know, you're in the top 10. But in addition to that, you know, this stuff's expensive. Over $700 just to enter the tournament, which isn't expensive for pro-ams. There's a lot of other pro-ams out there that you're looking at, you know, over $1,000, even up to $1,600. And then, you know, the Bassmaster Elite Series, those guys are spending serious money. But for a guy like me, working full-time, you know, having to take off work, gas money, travel, tackle, lodging, all of it, you know, it takes a lot of support from my family to do this not financial support, but more from my wife holding it down while I'm out of town doing these things. You know, it takes a lot. It's not just going around fishing everywhere and having somebody else pay for it, because I'm paying out of, out of pocket for all this. This journey comes with sacrifice. For example, when I went to Havasu, I had to miss my daughter's first ever like student of the month, where she gets recognized in front of the entire school for how well she's behaved in class and you know it's just a, it's a pretty cool little honor that that the school gives out and I had to miss it to go to Havasu. You have to make these decisions and decide what you're willing to miss, what you're not willing to miss and I don't have control over when a tournament is scheduled or not. I don't have control over when the teacher decided to give my daughter the award. So when that happens it's kind of part of the fishing game and my travel this year has been so minor and so minute compared to the guys on the elite level the guys fishing the opens the guys fishing the FLW tour so I can only imagine the amount of sacrifice that comes into play with them the amount of stuff that they have to miss with their families the tournaments have been tough my finishes have been rough financially it's been rough going into this I knew that there's a big financial component that I was gonna have to figure out and it caught up with me a lot quicker than I anticipated and unfortunately it looks like I'm not gonna be able to finish the season like I was hoping for I'm not letting that stop me from pursuing my end goal it's just making me reevaluate the way I'm going about it or how long the process might take what I mean by that is I don't know that I'm gonna fish as many events as I did last year because I need to be financially responsible because I have a family and I have you know different obligations and stuff like that that I need to take care of I'm as motivated as ever to re reach my goals and to fish professionally I know that patience is gonna be a major component to this entire process patience is something I think that factors into just about everything when it comes to fishing we got to be patient on the water between bites we have to be patient with how our tournament success comes we have to be patient with how quickly we learn new techniques or learn how to catch bigger fish or learn how to break down new bodies of water or or whatever and I think that this entire process is just showing me how patient I'm gonna need to be. 